if you are engaging with versions of people that you don't like and you're showing up the same way with the same actions, same feelings, and same narrative running through your mind, then you are keeping the old story alive and keeping the old version of yourself alive. And as we know, if you want to really change things, you have to shift the way that you're showing up for yourself in your reality. Now, this can be a little tricky because unconsciously we're going to be drawn to people that repeat patterns or make us feel the same way that we've always felt because the subconscious mind likes what's familiar because it knows how to handle that already. So this is where on a conscious level, someone can say, I want a relationship where I feel good about myself. Why do I keep getting in relationships where I don't feel good about myself? Because conscious and subconscious are two different aspects of your brain. The conscious mind is responsible for the logical and reasoning, and your subconscious mind is the emotional mind. It just reacts and responds based on emotions and energy. It does not have any form of rational thought. And that's why when people feel triggered, they are not rational. They are just reacting based on what their subconscious or nervous system has already programmed into it to survive. When you consistently practice emotional validation and release work, this is what changes the trajectory of things. It changes the associations your subconscious mind has, and it's going to choose new scenarios that feel and match what you want consciously when you release the old energies that are tying you to the old version of yourself and that causes you to engage with unfavorable versions of other people and unfavorable versions of yourself. Although be nice to yourself because every version of yourself is wonderful and great just the way it is. So if part of choosing yourself means disengaging from that version of that person or leaving a relationship, then you have to do what's best for you. That doesn't mean you can't change things, but when you're actively in an environment that is constantly re-triggering you and bringing up that old narrative, you're just keeping it alive. And it can feel really challenging and impossible to grow and move forward. If you feel challenged to let go of the old version of yourself or the old narrative, the emotion code, body code, and belief code can help you quickly and easily identify and release those. Check out my page for more information.